One of the most convenient ways you can use our pattern files is um, to print just the layers that you do need um, of the pattern. As you can see, this looks a little bit crazy. There's a lot happening. It can be a little bit confusing. But if you just need one or two sizes to grade between, um, you can certainly turn off the ones you don't need um, and just see those, those options that you are looking for. Uh, this is page two of our patterns, and you can see here we have got a one inch square and a three inch square. It's super important that you print just page two first, um, and you can do that completely just like this, where it's just those squares if you want, or it can have your pattern sizes on it. Um, and, that, and then just make sure that those, those squares are printing to scale. Um, a, a sixteenth of an inch doesn't seem like a lot, but when it's over the, the width of an entire pattern, particularly, um, an adult pattern versus a kid's pattern, it, it does add up pretty quickly for something that will, might end up too small um, or too large, depending on where your scale is. So if you just print page two of your pattern first and just double check that scale, then you can turn off any layers that you don't need and go ahead and print the entire document. Okay, so here we have uh, page two from the pattern. Um, and as we already talked about, this has the one inch and the three inch square on it. So you do just want to make sure that they are um, accurately printed to scale. Um, I like to use a gridded ruler that I can see through so that I can really see those lines are lining up appropriately at my one and three inch marks. Um, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Just keep in mind that if you are using a soft ruler, um, like a measuring tape, they can stretch out over time. So that's something to pay attention to and just double check um, before you use for measurements. And then just to put this together, all you're gonna do is line this up along um, the edge of the sheet. You want the edge of one sheet to line up with the um, dark line on the neighboring sheet. So it'll create a nice circle, the pages will overlap beautifully, and then your pattern will come together nicely. So um, I like to use glue, but you can use tape, whatever your preference is. Um, I've seen lots of people use things like stickers. Uh, wh whatever you have handy works perfectly. And then for your second row, you just come down here uh, like this and line that up exactly the same way. So um, the edge of the page against that dark line and just making circles um, beautiful and round and line up your pattern pieces and glue that in place or tape that in place, whatever your preference is. And then you can just keep going until your pattern is fully put together. Of course, you can um, cut out your pages as you complete pattern pieces. So for example, this piece would be done so I could cut this out and then continue um, gluing or attaching the rest of the pattern. It is completely up to personal preference for smaller patterns like this. You might not find it to be necessary, but for some of our larger patterns, it can be a little bit easier if you um, glue, uh, cut them apart as you go. Um, so be sure to comment in the group if you have any questions or issues whatsoever. We're happy to help and I hope this was useful.